is Swimming Fish, a short animation created by using Scratch. This is a great beginning tutorial if you never used a Scratch tool before. This is probably a good example that I recommend to get started. By the end of this video, you know how to use various blocks to program this super easy animation. Isn't it interesting? Keep watching. Hello everyone. It's Zitu. I am here to empower your kids programming skills. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use move block, turn block, glide block, change color block, touching block, if block, forever block, and when block. Let's learn and combine all these blocks to complete our animation. Let's get started. Open scratch tool, delete cat sprite. To add fish sprite, click on choose a sprite button, search fish in pre-existing sprite collection and select. That's it. Now our fish is ready to rock. Let's get some focus on sprite section. Here X and Y fields gives exact position of our fish on the stage. If you change X value to 0 and Y value to 0, then fish moves to exact center position. If you change the position of the fish, then corresponding X and Y values also change. So in general, we can locate a sprite position based on its X and Y values. Corresponding coding blocks are present in motion section. Move, go to XY, glide XY, change X by, change Y by, set X to, set Y to. Now come to direction field. Direction field has three characteristics. All around, left right, do not rotate. If all around is selected, fish will rotate in 360 degrees, like this, both clockwise and anti-clockwise. If you select left right, then fish will rotate either left side or right side. That means, the moment arrow crosses 180 degrees, it turns to left. Similarly, the moment arrow crosses to 0 degrees, it turns to right. It means that for each 180 degree rotation, fish turns to its other side. If you select do not rotate, then fish will not rotate. Corresponding coding blocks are present in motion section. Turn block, both clockwise and anti-clockwise. Point in direction. And set rotation style. In set rotation style, we need to choose appropriate option from the given list box. Left right, don't rotate or all around based on our requirement. Now this is the theory. Let's implement. Drag move block to code area. Click on the block. Fish moves to 10 steps forward. If we change the value with minus 10, then fish moves 10 steps backward. Now drag turn block. Change the value to 180 degrees and click on turn block. Fish changes its direction, either left or right. Now drag glide block to code area. Now to check the output, click on glide block. Fish glides for one second to a random position. Now drag change color block to code area. Click on change block. It changes its color effect. Drag this touching block to code area. Here we need to select edge from the list box. If we click on it, then it returns false. Means that fish is not in contact with edge. Now move the fish closer to the edge. Now click on touching block. Now it shows true. We need to drag if condition also to our code area. If block is present in control category. Now combine all remaining blocks. Check the condition here. If touching edge is true, then fish changes color, turns to degrees, glide to random position. If the condition is not true, then it will not do anything. If you combine entire logic inside forever block, then it will false into the infinite loop. To change the backdrop, click on change a backdrop, enter underwater and select. 
To enable start button, we need to add one more block which is present in event category. Let's drag this when flag clicks block and attach to our code. That's it. We are done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please share your feedback in the comments below. We will meet again with new topic. Until then, happy coding.